Amber. Yes. We're here in Grants Pass, Oregon. Yep. You're living in this tent behind you. Yep. Tell me about it. Um, well, I mean, it's home. It's not much, but it's what I got. Uh, yeah. It's considering the cops threw away my brand new tent, this that's what I have. Now, when did they throw away your tent? Um, it was last August. Okay. So, we've been making do with this one. Uh, yeah, it's falling apart. The zipper's not working as well. Hard to keep it closed. And it's cold. It is cold. So, it kind of sucks. Were you out here in the winter? Oh, uh, yeah. And it's been raining. Yep. Always and raining. It's morning. like one big mud pit. They say it's the climate. Yeah. It's like one big mud pit. Yep. How do you stay dry? Um, very carefully. Yeah. Um, you line your inside of your tent with cardboard or tarps so things don't get wet from the rain. Um, just try to keep it dry as much as possible. Yeah. But it's kind of hard because they make us move in the rain and it doesn't matter if it's rain or snow or sleet or shine. Let's talk about that. How many times have you had to move? Uh, well, we're supposed to move once a week to a new park. So right. once a week is like, that's like... Every five days. Yep. And if you don't move... Then we get a ticket. And how many tickets do you have? Uh, too many to count. I think in the past year and a half, it's like something like 30 that I've gotten. 30 tickets. At $300 a pop. Right. And for being homeless. Yeah. For existing. For existing. Yeah. Now, how did you end up homeless? Well, I lost my job during COVID. I uh, cleaned houses and a lot of people didn't want their houses cleaned because people were getting sick. And I don't blame them, you know, right. but it's been kind of hard to catch up since and once you're out here it's like almost impossible to make something of yourself or make anything happen and then when the cops are moving you every five days yeah so i've traveled around a little bit and featuring the story of criminalization and this musical parks Right? Right. And it's not funny, but it it's is. funny. It's right. funny, it's, but it's not. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. Just grin and bear it. And, yeah, it gets kind of old. And how How do you get your life? I mean, well, let me go a different direction because you said it gets kind of old. That's what it is. It's psychological warfare. Mm -hmm. Trying to beat you all down so you go someplace else. Right. But you don't have the resources to go someplace else. And, and the where would we go? Exactly. And the people in that community are being pushed out of that community. Yep. Here, and with the affordable housing crisis, homelessness is growing. Yes, it is growing at a very high rate. This is all crazy. Yeah, it is. It, it just, but there's not much you can do about it, you know? Like, you have the cops, like knocking on your door every other day like just to check who's in your tent or to see if there's anything going on which we're just trying to live we're not allowed to have propane so during the cold freezing nights it's like you yeah, better have a buddy next to you to keep you warm you know um, you can't cook food because they take the propane and they took the fucking uh, barbecues out of all parks like, well, fire is dangerous, and to solve that, get you into housing. Right. You know, I mean... But, like, literally, they take everything away from us to actually survive the things we need. Right. It's just, like, everything to the running water. They sh they gave us porta potties and closed down the bathrooms. And so it's like, you can't have running water... We don't have electricity, so there's no way to charge our phones. So anybody that wants to get a hold of us, or we can't get a hold of family, uh, jobs, right. job searches can't call us. Like, yeah. it's just ridiculous. Because I, I tried to get your number for connecting to do videos, and right. 
you don't have... <laughs> Unfortunately, my phone got stepped on and broken. Yeah. So I've got a Wi-Fi phone that I can never charge. So I can, can't ever get on Wi-Fi because... That's what people don't realize yeah. is homeless people may have the hardware, but they don't have the ability to charge or access to the internet. They're taking our means of survival away from us just because they don't want to look at us. We're just straight trash, you know? Yeah. And it's ridiculous. Like, people don't understand that they're a paycheck away from being our shoes. Has the criminalization gotten worse? Um, I would say so. I mean, they're coming up with new laws daily, it seems like. And it seems like they're just making them up on a whim just so they can give us another ticket so they can kick us out of the parks, you know? You, you were telling me earlier that they just make stuff up to give you a ticket. Right. Can like, you, one day I, I, I got a, a scatter, scattering rub, rubbish. And I'm like, well, like, I tend to keep my my temper neat, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, I think I had a couple frames from somebody that had come to visit. There was, like, two picture frames outside my door, and they gave me a scattering rubbish ticket for it. And, like, they were stacked up nice and neat, even. I, it's just anything that they can can find or make up as they go, we get tickets for. And you're not being offered support because no. there's no shelters here. No. I mean, they have uh, warming shelters for if it drops below, like, a certain degree, like 30 yeah. degrees or something like that. But otherwise... Like, other than that, it's cold up to that point. Yeah. You know? Like, it's still cold. Yeah. So, we have no options. And the ground is wet because it's been raining, 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 and I assume that's Oregon. It rains, right. rains, rains. It's the climate. And... Do you sleep on the ground or are you up a little bit? I mean, I have uh, a bunch of blankets that I use as a mattress. <laughs> so, I mean, I, it's cold, but I, I'm not on the ground ground. Yeah. So, I know there's that. <laughs> and, and there is one gospel rescue mission. Right. And they make you do two church services a day. Yep. And they also make you work um, for the mission. Um, but they don't really pay you, right. from my understanding. No. I, I haven't gone because... It's work therapy is what the faith-based organizations call it. Right. And they justify it. it's going to make you give you structure so you build your character. But really, they don't have to pay for janitors. No. And they don't have to pay for maintenance. And right. they don't have to pay for cooks. Right. And they don't pay the people. Like, literally, you have to get, hand over your food stamp card the minute you get there and they take over half of your food stamps right, right. away. Yeah. Um, they make you go to two church services a day, make you work. Um, they don't allow you to smoke, so if you're a smoker, uh, yeah. nope, they'll kick you out. And working isn't the issue because you would go work if you could get a job. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to go look for a job when you can't even feel human because you are wearing dirty clothes and you haven't showered in a week. Like, nobody wants to go look for a job looking like that, you know? Well, it's not only want to go look for a job, is nobody's going to hire you. And by a miracle you got hired, how do you keep a job? How do you maintain it? Right. Especially when you're moving every five days. And it, it it's pretty exhausting moving every five days. I didn't think about that. I mean... For people that have a job and are living out in a tent because they can't afford rent, they have to move every five days. Yep. And if they, we're not here to claim our tents when they come knocking on our door, they just pick it up and throw it away. Like everybody's lives, what they worked hard for, uh, what they're working hard to keep, like it's 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 sad, really. They just they take it all from us and. There's nothing you can do about it. Just cry. <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, my son, my son's urn was thrown away. Um, of course, they didn't know it was in the tote. It's not like they did that purposely, but that's something that I can never get back. And they don't care. To them, it's just like, whatever. You shouldn't have had it. 
like uh, I'm gonna have my sons at earn with me like it's just it, it's beyond me how they can get away with what they're getting away with I'm so sorry yeah it's but what's the solution your guess is as good as mine at well, this they, point I don't think there is one well they have to pre first prevent homelessness from people ending up on the streets and right for from those of here you, right because homelessness is going to grow. Right. So just pushing people park to park, encampments are going to grow. Really? I, I, I mean, I don't know about you, but it's pretty hard to, like, keep a living, like, on a one person's salary nowadays. Yeah. Inflation's gone sky high. Yeah. Rent's sky high. Yeah. Food is sky high. Like, and there's no end in sight. And more people end up homelessness. Yep. Or more people end up homeless, and then encampments grow. And if you're not solving it, like getting you into housing with the support you need, which after a little while, you would be able to get a job. You know, if you had a place of your own and a shower and you want to work. But, you know, that is the solution. Pushing people park to park to park, musical parks, yeah. is crazy. And it's just going to make homelessness worse and there's new people every day coming in here yeah. so i don't know it just seems like a there is no bottom it just keeps fault like getting worse if you had three wishes what would they be um to have a stable place of my own um for there to be peace everywhere and just yeah the, this homelessness problem that's going on gets the help that it needs so we can actually become uh, what is it um, functioning members of society like they yeah. want us to be yeah. Like, we, we don't ask to be out here. Like, you drive by and tell us to get jobs, but, like, you don't seem to realize that nobody's going to hire us because everybody's judgmental. They want to judge book by its cover, and it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, it should Every single one of these homeless people out here has a story, and we're all human just trying to survive like everybody else. So, well, thank you very much for talking to me. Yeah, thank you.